Let's talk about math <clears throat> 1087 and uh, made several videos for this piece a few years ago and I uh, had a student reach out to me and say could you do some videos for page 20 I got a lot wrong and was very confused and so I borrowed this piece from uh, a student here at our church who was using it and uh, looked at her and yes yeah, she got quite a few wrong on this page as well so I think this page maybe warrants a little explanation <clears throat> so when we are adding constants which are numbers that don't have letters and uh, terms which would be like a letter with a number we are looking for the common terms the like terms that we can combine so this is just a plain old number no problem this has an x with it and notice this is x as well so these are both like terms but this does not have a number in front of it if you don't see a number you can assume that it is a one so i'm going to put a one in front of that x okay now what i always like to do is circle each of the like terms and combine make sure you put the let the the sign that's in front of it either the plus or if there's a minus put that with it because that's like the positive or negative indicator so basically now i can add 4x plus 1x which would be 5x okay no, not x squared okay we'll get to that later when we're multiplying letters <clears throat> then we get an exponent of 2. all right so you could write 17 plus 5x or you could write this as 5x plus 17 and if you switch the order in the on your answer compared to the score key that does not make it wrong okay because when we're adding we can switch the order now let's look at this one you'll notice that 15x okay is an x term but look at this we have 8x but it's not just 8 it is negative 8x i'm going to put a box around these okay and i'll just put a circle around the negative 11. So what that means is <clears throat> these two are like terms so I can combine them. Now, I'm not going to add 15 plus 8 to get 23. I can't do that because I need to keep track of this negative sign in front of the 8 which actually makes that a negative 8. If it makes more sense to you to change all the subtractions to addition but don't forget change the second number to its opposite. You could write this as plus negative 8x okay. But still, we're going to be combining 15x and 8, negative 8x. And I'm not going to tell you what that answer is. You can figure that out. Okay, subtract 8 from 15. Just keep the x with it. And then bring down the minus 11. Now, again, does it matter if you do negative 11 first and then do the x term? No, you can do the x term first or you can do the number first. If you do the negative 11 first make sure you keep the negative with it though okay it would be wrong <coughs> if you just had 11 and then tried to write something like minus 7x or whatever all right let's look at this one let's see if we can follow those rules we just talked about so i see an a term here but notice there's no number in front of it so let's add a one okay so now i have one a and here's a four a so I can, I like to put symbols around them, circles, squares, triangles, underlining, clouds, whatever, so that I can match them up and see these are the same. And then I have two numbers, 17 and negative eight. All right, so go ahead and combine those, combine those, <coughs> excuse me. Then let's check what I think is probably one of the hardest ones on the page, okay? and uh, we have three different kinds of letters so let's try my trick here um we'll circle the a terms now again you might be tempted to draw the circle around the 4a but nope we got to include the negative okay i'm going to go ahead and underline the b terms and just for fun let's put a triangle over the c terms all right, now I can visualize which ones are like terms, just a little bit easier. So we can put 5a and negative 4a together. So think about the rules for adding when the signs are different. Add, subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. 
Do the same for the B terms. Those both happen to be positive numbers, so that's easy, just 9 plus 5. Keep the B with it. It's not B squared, just B. And then finally, we're going to do C, okay? So we have 7C and negative 3C. So we'll subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger, and just tack the letter on. Again, it does not matter. Typically, we would do in order A first, then B, then C, but it really doesn't matter what order you put them in, as long as if there is a negative term, you keep the negative with that term, all right? So even when you're scoring, don't mark it wrong if you have it in a different order, because you still probably got the right, the right answer. All right, I hope that helps you on uh, this lesson.